I wanted to show you how exactly I got the Logitech flight yoke system set up on the PC. The instructions are not very good, they're not very clear, and actually there's not really any instructions. It just tells you go it gives you a little picture of going online, plugging it in and basically flying away. Um, right now we're on the Logitech G website. It's logitechg.com and I'll just reload it for you. Logitechg.com. It'll redirect you right to it. I want to hit this drop down and it'll open up the drop down once it loads. This is the way I know to go to it. You could go directly to the support website. Uh, go to Flight Sim Gear. Flight. This is actually what I have. Uh, I'm not sure if it matters which one you click on. I just went ahead and clicked on this one because this is what I have. I have the rudder pedals, the throttle, and the yoke. I don't have the switch panel yet. It's not here yet, and I don't have my additional throttle, throttle quadrant yet. guess I don't know how to talk. You're on the Logitech support site. You want to type. You just start typing yoke and it comes right up. It takes you to this getting started page. I'm going to go ahead and just close these windows. This is a setup guide. This is a little more in-depth kind of directions. What you might want to do. Gives you a little more information about what each is. Gives you an introduction. Installing it. Uh, if you watch my other video, you've seen the issues I kind of had with that. Um, but that was a personal table issue. That's not knocking the software at all, except for the fact that the screws that they include for the throttle quadrant are not long enough to mount it in this configuration. In this configuration, the screws that were included in my kit uh, were not long enough. Actually, they've got it mounted the other way. When you put this flat plate and have it sandwich a piece of wood like I have on my desk here, it is not long enough. There's rubber pads to keep it from scratching material, and it makes it um, about 10 millimeters too short. I think I ended up getting 20 millimeter bolts and... Uh, the ones I had that come with a kit measured about 10 millimeters. You want to go to downloads, show all downloads. I'm on Windows 10. I'm on a laptop. Um, Flight Yoke System Software installs driver software allowing you to program. 64 bit, that's what I have. Click download. And I've obviously got some other stuff here, but just I just left it as it was. I've already done this once on my desktop. I'm actually on my laptop. It's a Dell G515. Um, not as good as my desktop, but that's to be expected. I do keep a fan on it. In my opinion, it does get hot, especially with the Hunter Call of the Wild. Basically, all I did there was click the next, click the I accept the terms, and click the next key that's all you got to do I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this just so it's not there we'll click we'll watch the watch just this screen here it wants you to plug in now here where here's where it becomes a bit tricky for me I've got to unplug my mouse and use the mouse on the computer so I have a free USB port to plug this into explain update available Not sure what just happened there. No flight controls found. I just wanted to verify that, make sure that that's all good. On the desktop here, flight yoke system, plug it in. I unplugged the mouse. I've now plugged the yoke system in. The yoke is powered up. I can clearly see that the rudder pedals are powered up and the throttle quadrant's powered up. It's going to set up the device. You're going to click next. It's going to go through its thing, and it was very fast that time. Click finish. It 
It's going to come up with that. Device is ready to go. And right here is the software. It's going to have you select your language. I'm in the U.S. And if you want to, you can go to programming and mess around. I actually didn't. I just started X-Plane right off. And we're going to go from there. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to settings. And joystick, it's already come up. Uh, rudder pedals need to be calibrated. So it's showing up here. We're going to go ahead and calibrate those now. I have a mess of cords around here. Need some zip ties down underneath here. I will have to obtain some and fix that because that does get a little annoying. This is where a nice... There's the right toe brake, left toe brake, y'all one way, y'all the other way. This is the point where a nice USB expander would be nice. Allow them to go back to their center position. Because I am out of USB ports and I cannot use a mouse, I have to use the mouse on the computer, which it's okay, but it is much nicer with a regular mouse than what it is with the other. Go up here to device. Pro flight yoke. Calibrate now. Pitch. I don't know if it's necessary. I run them through twice. Just to be sure. They've made their full thing. And then you've got the throttle here. That it's going to have you run through. Again, I just run it through twice. These do have a reverser function on them. I have not flown any pains with a reverser to know for sure if how good that works. We're going to click next. Allow everything to go back to center. And leave it there until it's done. It takes 5 10 seconds. I'm going to click finish. What I went ahead and done here. For the reason of the plane I fly the most, the Cessna 172 has mixture right here on this second button. So I've swapped the blue and the red on my throttle quadrant. For prop to number one, all the way on the right with the blue, and two for mixture. Just so it's right next to the throttle. Throttle's a black lever. As you can see me moving it up and down. Here's the what I now have set is the mixture with the red handle. Those handles do pull right off. Okay, everyone. We got us a demo here with our yoke and our rudder pedals and the throttle that's separate. It shows up if you, when you calibrate it, it shows up. Uh, anybody interested? There's my settings. Not sure why the draw parked aircraft is off. I'll have to fix that. Um, but, uh, I7, 8750H. GTX 1060 Max Q. What we're going to do here. Is apparently hit every wrong button that we can. What we're going to do here is a simple flight. I'm going to take off. From KSEA. Circle around. And land right back at KSEA. Just give you a little brief overview. Of. What, uh, what we got here. First thing we're going to do. Is check our controls. We'll get up, and get out of the plane here. Back right up a little bit so we can see. We got the. Go. Pitch down.
seems to be working. We are close to the night fly here. Ready to take off the parking brake. to a switch on the right hand side. Makes it kind of nice though that it's pre-configured. You don't have to do anything if you just want to get in and fly like I'm doing right now. Being that you just watched me set this up. It is kind of nice having the time on the front of the yoke too. The time is nice and then having there is also a pitch up and down on the left side also. I do like how it's set up and I like, I really like G-Force experience for recording. It is very good to record with. I use it on both my desktop and my laptop. As I stated before in the previous videos, the desktop is a 1660 Ti. Landings are still something I have a lot of trouble with. Still have a lot of trouble getting them right. Still practice as much as I can. Of 
four percent in this landing. I, I have trouble getting the speed right as normal. Do I have trouble getting right? I'm trouble getting the speed right, and I come down particularly hard, in my opinion, and not necessarily in the right place on the run. Thing that really would make a difference is if I got head shape on here. I think that would really make a difference. That's a really nice feature. appreciate you tuning in, watching this demo. Hopefully you learned something out of that tutorial, I hope. I hope you enjoyed flying along with me here on this short flight. Oh, not very long. Probably 10 minutes. But anything is better than nothing, as I always say. Try to fly as much as I can. Doesn't always work out that way. Just flat back up. down here and we'll reach down here and pull that full shot off. 